Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 252. Rob Hoback here. Happy that you've joined us. Honored and humbled if you came back like Bob Reels. So, as we know, there are no days off in um, the best life possible. Success doesn't allow us to do that. It's a work day, so let's get after it. Um, first things first, still the realist. I'm also impressed. What am I impressed with? Well, We'll talk about that in just a minute, um, but it's because I was watching TV last night, flipping around on the channels, because the, you know there's really not supposed to be anything on, and uh, I'm impressed with the U.S. women's national soccer team, and also Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, whatever, the Greek freak, he won the MVP in the NBA last night, So, um, which are also my thank yous for the day, so as a dude, you know, um, I can remember when the WNBA came out and everybody's like, nobody's going to watch that. And I can remember when the, the women's team, the, the USA women's team won the first World Cup and the men were way behind. Everybody's like, oh, they don't have the same competition. Let me tell you something. Um, I made Sam watch a little bit of that game and say, our U.S. women's national soccer team is badass. Like they dominate everybody else. And so it doesn't matter if it's men or women playing. Um, they're representing our country, and they're getting after it. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about it yesterday. You know, um, was it yesterday? I don't know. The lady that was on ESPN, she played yesterday, had a great game. They're really good, and they're suing uh, the U.S. soccer thing. They're like, look, you're chartering planes to take these men all over the place and you pay them twice as much money or 10 times or whatever it is. Um, they're just treated differently, not in a good way. And they're better. So congratulations. Let's keep it going. And Giannis, holy cow. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about him today. And you want some great advice? Last night when he was giving his acceptance speech, which was a tearjerker, um, you know, he talked about some great advice that his dad had given him. So before we get to that, I just want to give you some background on Giannis. So obviously a very different name called the Greek Freak. He's actually African. His, uh, his, uh, his ethnicity is African. Uh, his parents, who were both athletes, her dad was a footballer, which means he was a soccer player, and his mom was a high jumper. In 1991, they moved from Lagos, in Africa to Athens, Greece, because they felt like this afforded them a better opportunity. Well, they grew up poor, right? Or they were they they were poor. They had a hard time finding jobs and this, that, and the other. So in 1994, so we're talking about 24 years ago, 25 years ago, um, Giannis was born in Greece. Now, at the time <laughs> um, when he was born there, he was because his parents were. Um, African citizens, they weren't citizens of Greece yet, and Greece didn't have national, you, you didn't automatically become a citizen when you uh, were born. He was a man without a country until he was 18 years old. Uh, anyway, so in 1994, he's born by 2009, so he's 14 years old, two years older than Sam. He's playing competitive basketball uh, on the national team. Four years after that, he's drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks. Six years after that, he is the MVP of the league. Something special there, for sure. And last night he was talking about his father, which I didn't know this, didn't know the story, so I had to look it up. Um, his his entire family, with the exception of two brothers who were in the service at the time, uh, moved to Milwaukee to support him when he was drafted. And, um, you know, shortly after arriving, within a couple of years, his father passed away at a, a, of a heart attack at 52, so not very old. And so... You know, when Giannis was accepting that award, you know, he was talking about his dad, how he missed him, um, how his dad gave him advice that always be thankful for what you have and always want more, but never be greedy. It's great advice, right? It's great advice that I've been given a couple times by older people. I remember one time I was negotiating a contract, um, a big contract with some uh, Korean business people and the elder statesman, the guy who was in charge of things, Mr. C.B. Co. Uh, he used to call me YRC guy. He looked at me and another guy. Another guy's name was Matthew. He's like, YRC guy, Matthew, you guys go get deal done. YRC guy, don't be too much greedy. I'm like, what? He's like, don't be too much greedy. And so, you know, somebody grabbed me. They're like, what he's saying is don't be too greedy, blah, blah, blah. 
but I just always remember that and and um, it's good advice right always want more but never be greedy so with that we're done for the day hands up peace out we're better together let's try to be more like Giannis right or his family and uh, or the US women's national team they're pretty awesome too Lots of inspiration out there for us, uh, even in the dead of the summer when there's not supposed to be anything on. So I'm done for the day. I got to get to work. You have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. Hope to see you then. See you. Bye. Thanks for joining.